Welcome to this short video about SPPP. Over the next few minutes we will be taking some time to meet some fellows and some trainees who have used SPPP to think about professionalism. There will be some interesting stories about what people have done and what people have learned and I hope that you can learn from them as well. SPPP is a framework that helps us describe what it means to be a good doctor. We all know that the central component of medical expertise is something that we've spent some time learning over our many years in training. What we may not have thought about is the importance of the other domains. How important it is to be a good communicator, collaborator. How important it is to be good at teamwork, the understanding of cultural competency. Today we're going to hear some stories about how fellows and trainees have used SPPP how they've incorporated into their daily practice, whether they're managers, whether they're clinicians, or whether they're trainees. They've been able to identify areas in things they do that they can do better through using the SPPP domains. I hope that you'll enjoy their stories. For me, the SPPP provides a basis for quite a, a detailed and fairly um, meaty conversation that then has the potential to build better relationships both between myself but also the department more generally. Reflecting on SPPP and how it's been benefited me as a clinician, I think it's focused my energies on um, improving some of the teamwork aspects of, of um, being a professional but also their health advocacy and recognising that the role that we have, instead of being one-on-one -on -one physicians, taking care of our patients is far beyond that. As a new fellow, um, my ideas of what professionalism looked like were based very much on um, the experiences as a, as a registrar, so training. Um, the, the focus at, in my training was becoming a medical expert um, as much as possible and there was really not a lot of opportunities to, to um, develop leadership behaviours except for when I was um, supporting junior doctors. So then becoming a fellow, um, the my focus on other non-clinical aspects of professionalism, I think we really had the opportunity to develop. Um, but the difficulty I found that there was really not much of a framework that I could draw upon when I first started um, to give me guidance on how to explore other aspects of, of professionalism. When SPPP came along and, and drawing upon the experience of the CAN-MED um, domains of professional behaviours, um, I could really draw upon those. My ideas around professionalism have probably changed and developed further through SPPP, recognising that the medical expert is only such a small part of being a good physician, and the greater part of being a physician for my community is based largely on advocacy and on teamwork and collaboration, as well as political astuteness, and these are the factors that have then led me to really explore um, management roles a lot more deeply and I think at the end of the day I find that very satisfying um, that you can not only treat patients one-on-one -on -one, but you can have a much broader role um, which I think is probably more valuable to the community than just being a, a clinician. Clinicians in general may not have been used to getting feedback um, and feedback not only on their clinical performance but how they interface with with patients, how they interface with our clients, how they interface with the non-clinical uh, members of the team. Um, so that's actually novel for a lot of people. Um, I think in the, in the corporate world, uh, performance appraisal, performance management has been much more uh, integrated into the mainstream. Um, but I think in, in the clinical world, it's relatively new. SPPP has actually helped constructive feedback by, by giving us a framework and an expectation that our, our fellows know comes from an external body, their own professional body. It is an enabler to start having discussion around performance for clinicians. It highlights to us as individuals where perhaps we have a blind spot in, in the way we're actually operating. In the future, I, I see SPPP as, as a fundamental part of what is happening with clinical leadership. I think the days of the isolated doctor um, not being part of the community in the way of beyond clinical service delivery, I think that's changing. I think the community really does expect doctors to be uh, broader in their thinking, to understand some of the community expectations, and I think we see that in our consultations. I think our world has changed, and I think this is a way of helping us to change with it. I think it will evolve. Um, 
and I'm sure what we see as SPPP today in five years time will be very different but I think it's, it gives us a line in the sand from which we can progress so I think that's really exciting. I'm a third year general paediatric advanced trainee um, who has a real passion and focus on clinical practice improvement. Last year I got involved in the RACP Clinical Excellence Commission um, pilot program into clinical practice improvement and I decided to start up an acute review clinic um, to address the issue of avoidable admissions at Gosford Hospital Children's Ward. There were very promising results with that and within four months we'd reduced the percentage of avoidable admissions by 42.2% for four general paediatric problems. I've become increasingly interested in the non-clinical aspects of professional development since passing my exam and I came across the SPPP program and found that that was an invaluable framework um, to guide my ongoing professional development in these final years of advanced training. SPPP um, is an invaluable framework uh, for the delivery of non-clinical professional skills. I really see it as a program that um, helps clinicians move from medical competence to medical uh, performance, which is a much more holistic concept. Um, it's about developing those professional attributes that um, uh, traditionally haven't been taught in medical schools. Um, so communication, leadership, collaboration, cultural competence, ethics, research and learning. These are some of the focuses um, that make up key domains of the SPPP program. The concept of a good doctor has changed. Um, I think traditionally it was much more about clinical competence but now the community um, and medical governing bodies are demanding more from doctors. I think that it's something to really get on board with. It's an extremely important thing that doctors have uh, a self-challenging process that occurs whereby, whereby they are increasingly trying to improve their performance in both clinical areas and in these areas of professional attribute acquisition. As the co-chair of the trainees committee and having um, used SPPP to formulate my own learning plans, I felt that it was increasingly important that we embrace this um, at an early stage before we all become fellows. Uh, and so the, the hope is that this year at the Advanced Training Forum we will focus on performance and professionalism um, to get that message out there. My name is Mandy Fletcher. This year I'm the Campbelltown Paediatric Fellow. Um, I've always been interested in quality and safety, but there's never been a course or a program to teach me how to go about doing it. From the experience I've had from leadership courses, as well as uh, information I've gleaned about being a true professional, I've taken skills such as being able to communicate well, to be able to lead my team, uh, how to make good decisions, and I incorporated all of that into this project as well. I'm really proud of the success I received through the Clinical Practice Improvement Project where I obtained an 80% reduction in mislabeled specimens in the emergency department. I'm very proud of being part of committees at my hospitals where I've worked. It also makes me feel like I'm working on my professionalism, working on my teamwork and communication and ultimately that will reflect on the quality of patient care that I provide for my patients. To be a good doctor is so much more than just the clinical skills you can offer to your patient. It's one thing being competent in putting in a cannula and making a diagnosis, but there's a whole other embodiment of professionalism that should go with being a good doctor. And by that I mean being able to communicate well, both with staff, with patients, being able to negotiate, to be able to resolve conflict, and quality and safety, looking at issues that, where there are problems in the system and trying to rectify these. Through the SPPP, they'd be able to become a better doctor, not just a competent doctor, but a doctor that looks at themselves as far as evolving as a manager, as a leader, being able to communicate well, uh, to be able to look at the big, bigger picture. For me, it's made me a, a complete doctor, and by that, I, I have the clinical skills, but Nobody ever taught me about how to truly be a professional, how to engage well with my colleagues, with my patients, to communicate, to evolve leadership skills, 
And through the SPPP, it's made me realize that there is a whole nother dynamic to medicine. I've learned that there's a lot in the system that can be improved. And for me, on a daily basis, I'm going, ah, oh, that's something I can look at. Ah, oh, that's something I can look at. And already this year, I've picked up two quality projects that I'm working on because I find it so satisfying to make changes and see results. Uh, so for me, it's made me think, what, where am I working? What can be done better, more efficiently? And most importantly, what can reflect on patient safety and quality? Hi, I'm Grant Phelps. I'm an adult physician and co-chair of the SPPP Working Group. Thank you for watching these vignettes. We hope you've enjoyed them. These vignettes are designed to uh, showcase the way our colleagues, our fellows and trainees are using the SPPP framework to consider their own professionalism. We've designed SPPP to help fellows and trainees throughout their, uh, throughout their working lives. Uh, we think it's important that uh, fellows and trainees are able to consider all aspects of their working lives, both the technical aspects, the clinical aspects of their, their role, but also the non-technical aspects. And we've heard uh, colleagues today talking about uh, these various aspects of their work. Healthcare's changing, the profession's changing. We think it's important that we're able to demonstrate our professionalism and SPPP is a tool that's been designed to help do that. An effective doctor in future is going to have to be both an excellent technical clinician but also an effective communicator, an effective collaborator, an effective member of a team. We'd encourage you to take the SPPP framework, look at it, think about it, reflect upon your own work, but, but also start to use it in your own teams and consider how you might uh, think about professionalism from the perspective of a team or the broader organisation. Uh, we're very happy to uh, talk to you if you have any questions or comments about SPPP. We'd like to hear your feedback, we'd like to hear your criticism, but we're keen to ensure that this is a tool that's effective for you in your own working environments.